Welcome back. Well, why not? It's 2020. How about two named storms possibly in the northern Gulf heading into early next week? There is the chance that that could really happen. As you see out here, we've got tropical depression 14. It's becoming a little bit more organized over the last few hours. As you notice again, we're still not expecting it to reach tropical storm strength until most likely early tomorrow. Right now, the winds are at 35 heading west now at about 17 miles per hour, and eventually it's got to make its way past Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. We've also got the next named storm. Well, not name storm quite yet. Potentially that could happen very shortly. Tropical depression 13. Again, the winds are sustained at 35 heading west northwest at 21 miles per hour. And notice again really recently we've had a lot of thunderstorm activity kind of develop around the center of that circulation. But take a look at these two current tracks and you'll notice by the time we move through the weekend in early next week, we're talking late on Tuesday. Notice this line across the northern Gulf. Both systems very close to the coastline. Again, right now, as you see here, this system, which would most likely become Laura, it looks like it's going to be the first one to get named, is going to be making its way across the Yucatan Peninsula with winds up to about 65 miles per hour, maybe just shy of becoming a Category 1 storm. And the current track right now is heading towards Galveston. However, we do lie in the cone, which means there is that potential that it could wiggle and move a little bit further towards the east. The other track, well, as you see here, it goes just a little bit north of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. They've already issued some tropical storm watches for a few areas. And again, that's Puerto Rico and the northern portions of the Lesser Antilles out there. But then as it moves through the Bahamas, it gradually strengthens to a category one storm just south of Miami, a little bit north of Key West, and then moves into the eastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico as a category one. Same thing. This scenario, it could shift a little bit further west. Obviously, we're sandwiched right in the middle. And that is the biggest concern at this point because you see with a couple outliers out there, it looks like it's going to start to make that hook back towards the northeast. But when does that actually happen? The steering wind should drive it towards the northeast eventually. As you notice, a bunch of these track models are taking it back towards Louisiana. However, again, I do want to point out that this is not a definite forecast quite yet. A lot can change in the coming days. It's only Thursday and this is going to happen early next week. So maybe about Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. If it becomes a much larger system, a more well-defined system, it's probably going to slow down a little bit as it continues to truck its way towards the east. And we also got to remember there's a new tropical wave just coming off the coast of Africa. Also, a pretty good chance of development it continues to climb and long range models are showing some growth and maybe even becoming another named storm in the Atlantic by the time we